Years ago, Time Magazine did a cover story that I thought was fascinating. It was uh, titled, uh, Why the Bible Should Be Taught in Public Schools, but very, very carefully. Show this next slide, Nate. This was the cover from it. Uh, the article quoted an Ivy League professor who, uh, who said this, Knowledge of the Bible is essential to being a full-fledged, well-rounded citizen. An entire generation of Americans is growing up entirely ignorant of the most influential book in world history. Unable to understand the 1,300 biblical allusions in Shakespeare or the scriptural oratory of President Lincoln and, and the Reverend, Reverend Martin Luther King or even the prominence of the Bible in popular films such as Pulp Fiction and The Matrix. Did you hear what he's saying? We're a poorer people because we don't know the Bible. Now, obviously, Time Magazine was not advocating that schools teach the Bible the way churches do, as authoritative scripture. They don't need to. That's our job. But how can schools ignore talking about the book that is the number one bestseller year after year after year? The Bible has had such a profound impact on the development of our culture and our civilization and the world that to not know its contents automatically makes you a weaker and poorer person. If I were a teacher, I would want my kids to know the story of Abraham and Sarah and that great leap of faith they made in leaving their homeland and moving. I would want my kids to know that story, to know that there's more to live for in life than comfort or security. That good things happen when you stretch yourself and you do the, the hard thing instead of, of just the easy things. I, want, I would want my kids to know that story. I would want my kids to know the story of the Good Samaritan. Talk about putting a dent in, in bullying today. You get that story in kids' hearts. I would want the kids to know the story of David and Goliath. Here's David, the run of a litter. Talk about your self-esteem booster. David, the weakest one in his family, the one that everybody overlooks, and yet who's the one that shows courage when nobody else will? It's David. I would want our kids to know the Ten Commandments, wouldn't you? To be able to rattle them off their tongue, to know that they are not a law unto themselves, that they are accountable for their behavior. To be ignorant of this information leaves us without a moral vocabulary that can guide us and protect us.